So here, let's get started. New video. We have a zombie juggernaut here. Just uh, look at his OPGG and then get into a game. So here we have support player playing for a few seasons now. Leo Thresh Ash. Just support, support, support. So hopefully we will we will be seeing support in the matches three. This is getting a little bit muddied up here a little bit. Older. You really don't want to be playing champions you don't know how to play in ranked. Really harms your win rates. Uh, two months is pretty good. So you're about 50% win rate. 120 games. And we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out why. <clears throat> when you mix in champions you don't really play, you uh it starts stacking up whether you know it or you don't know it. These scores are just not very optimal, right? Think about a champion that you enjoy playing in the jungle, and then when you do get auto filled jungle, play that champion only. Don't switch it up every time, and definitely don't play brand jungle. Even Pantheon jungle is a little bit hard because how hard he falls off and how you're supposed to build him. This is just you. It needs to be a little bit different. So, Nico, you play Nico. Do, but you don't have a you're not you're not winning on her were you ever winning on her but this is something you like you need to just start maybe studying nico okay you were but it's only like a few games less than 15. so you, you you're fairly new to nico put in more time to nico learn like learn from the better players like look at what the better players are doing how they're doing it perhaps look at a replay look even in client Think, see exactly how they play and like maybe I can mimic them or maybe I'm missing something about my Nico play that they're doing that I'm not right? and boom we'll get better but again it's a different almost a different jungler every time and this just harms your win rate like you can't you know like play play your goddamn best on supports that you play all the time all of a sudden we're playing like champions that were C tier or maybe even D, D tier on yeah, we're winning games sometimes, but it's not always going to be like this, right? 0, 7, 1 and 6, 2 and 5. These guys are 1 and 4. These guys are falling asleep at the wheel, right? Not always going to be like that, right? And when you and then, you know, now we're the ones falling asleep at the wheel, right? And it's like, okay, dodge the Yasuo. We dodge Yasuo. Try, try to remember that. Not worth it playing Yasuo's in bronze ELO. Lux with um lens. Uh I severely dis I disagree with this. I think this is a big mistake. Dark Harvest as well. Maybe look into what we should be building into Rel. I think you kinda just build whatever you want. We're now we're playing Zeri. Hey, this is this is the reason why we're fifty percent, right? This is why why your heart stuck. Because we're just mixing in champs that we just don't don't really play, and then we have these 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 moments where we're playing our mains, we're winning, we're feeling good, and then we just switch it up. This is why we're hard stuck, or this is why you're in bronze right now. You could be at least way higher, gold even plus. You could be gold easily, I think, just based on looking at this stuff. Yeah, just switch up, switch up, switch up, switch up. L L L L L L. Remove this from your play. You will climb. Do we even need to look at a replay? I feel like I feel like when you play support, you're gonna just pop off. Do we even need to look at a replay? Two and ten? Okay, yeah, maybe we do. Two and six. The lane that shouldn't really be that bad. Die at nine minutes, and the game we die at nine minutes, and the game doesn't go back the other way. So we can probably look at this one. So this is kind of what I do. I I look at my first death, 
and then see what what I could have done better. So nine minutes first death, right? So if you're not invading as Nautilus, and you're not playing Nautilus right. You got light binding, you got Nautilus. That's more than enough. I'd be ping 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 and I'd be going. I'd be going off on my merry way. If you're not doing this, it's just a big mistake. Yeah, it, you really need to just type in and champs like, hey, we're playing Nautilus, we're invading, no doubt about it. Cover our entrances, right? Both of them. Yeah, I feel like with these new map changes, it's really hard to cover both entrances as one player. So just to keep that in mind. Not that easy to cover both now. Kind of a tricky spot there, but let's go quickly look at your first death here. Seems like there's a fight here. So at this point, we're up, which is really good. It's amazing. Good job. Then we hook into Yona. So do we, should we be hooking into Leona? The answer is no. And at the same time, Warwick invades, right? So it, it I'm not expecting you to have the map awareness to see this happening while you're fighting, but I think it's a mistake going on Leona. And then Fiddle doesn't even ping Warwick's location because he just assumes that you know. And then it's by then it's already too late. Makes sense. Uh, you can't do much about that cut at death. Uh, why are you AFK? Being AFK is not good. I mean, it's just so forced, right? You're just trading into a cannon wave, right? It's so forced. Like, she's not even in a position to even follow up with anything, right? It's like a little bit risky. I feel like it's like, oh, I'm playing not. I'm going to just go for the hook, right? You're not, you don't actually know the, the power, the true power of not from what, from what I've seen. But again, Playing champs, you don't really play in solo queue, and this is what this is what happens when that when you do that kind of stuff. And here is just whenever you see a Yasuo on, on your team, understand that you're gonna be dying nine times nine times a game. The games that he pops off are gonna be few and far between. The games that he wins. He's gonna be feeding still. One, four, and one, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, and ten, nine. So out of all these games, you're gonna get someone who's most likely gonna be feeding. Okay, twelve and six, eight and three. Okay. Once in a when he loses, it's just hard feeding, right? This one. He he's got 14 kill lead, he still can't win against uh Aston. Is I don't know. I would I'll just dodge these players. It's your choice to play with them and you don't dodge. That's on you, but This is a, this is an okay one to watch. We're throwing, we're not throwing early. We're dying early. And here we have um, playing against Pike. I'd even consider taking celerity for the extra MS to dodge his hook. Flat health. Uh, you know the extra the extra MS actually goes hard. Uh, super sleeper. You get to dodge the hook, right? I tend to watch uh, watch your own side. Hard to cover both entrances, but we do we do it this time, which is nice. 
They do elect to kind of do like a half invade, kind of. Not really. Okay, so the game starts off leash. It's fine. Yeah, if we, if the jungler starts at the other side, we can we can uh scoot into this bush and then cheese them here, immediately winning the lane. Base it, especially at low elo, these players uh, don't know how to trade properly, so it's gonna be a pretty nice trade for us. Mega W. Remember, we want to be playing for the level two. It's coming up very soon, right? By the time, by the time you're level two, you should be in a position either in the brush or up close enough to start dealing damage into them. Because if they elect to trade into you, they're big, they're gonna be trading down, right? So we we hit level two, we should be immediately just striking them. We just play back, right? We play back. He's level one. They're level one. 70, 76 attack damage, 77. We're just, we up on every stat, right? Like, we need to be playing aggressive here, right? And if we're not taking advantage of this, uh, we're not going to climb as quickly or easily. See, as soon as you take control of the brush, the game gets so much more easier, right? And you, but you need to be doing this before you hit level 2 and applying pressure on them, right? Because they're going to misstep. They're going to step up too close. They're going to trade. And even if they both trade into you, you're still winning the trade. That's the beauty of the level 2. Fine, whatever, it's fine, warded. Good. Again, don't trade into the cannon wave, you just you need to kill the cannon and then trade. Uh, Ignite was too early, but I like the harassment. Okay, so the crab is spawning soon. Now, I would prefer the ward to be here because the crab, right? But, yeah, I just prefer it to be in the, in the tribe, to be honest. I mean, not outside of the tribe in here. Your jungler is uh, trolling a little bit. The Nocturne shows topside. Oh. And I think you could be playing a little bit more aggressive position here and applying pressure. You have the HP for it and she doesn't and you're standing behind her. Now you don't mind them trading into you, right? But you do mind them trading to Ash here, right? That's why she dies, right? You're full HP, right? You need to... You need to bait a little bit, right? Like stand stand in a position where you're close enough to strike but far enough to dodge, right? And get comfortable with it, right? Get a little bit more closer, right? Push your boundaries a little bit more against these guys, right? Because these guys make mistakes all the time, right? You pay play passively and don't don't play like you don't even need to strike them. Just be in a position in which they're scared of your they're scared of you. Right? You being in this bush increases your range like this, right? When you're here, your range is like this. When you go in the bush, they don't know where you're standing. Your range is increased to the size of the brush, right? This is, you know, like, this is the kind of stuff that you need to start doing, right? What is this? Maybe, maybe, maybe you die and then Ash gets a double here. Isn't that such a better outcome than uh, Ash dies? And what, what are you doing? What on earth are you doing? <laughs> I like it, yeah. Look, she her spells have cooldowns, right? You just kind of have to fucking you just kind of have to fucking barrel. <laughs> I mean, she got you, bro. She got you, bro. Yeah, you're gonna need you're gonna need a little bit more practice, you know. You'll be, you'll get there though. Just try not to play jungle, man. Just try your best not to play jungle.
And if you're playing jungle, play a super easy champ like Nunu or Warwick. Jarvan. Aggression, aggression, aggression. That's fine. Aggression is fine. Preferred. Aggression is preferred. You have to be very cautious. Where is the enemy jungler? But we do have a ward, so that's good. But this is a good aggression. I'm liking this. Don't take free damage. It's fine. It happens. We're learning. This play is good. I like this play. This play by you is good. What is it Ash doing? Okay. Now. We took free damage, right? It all, it all, it's all snowballing, right? It's all snowballing. With aggression, it can't be like a bull. With aggression, it has to be with a uh, finesse, like a uh, like fencing. Don't you know, if you know what fencing is, with finesse, right? It's finesse. It's finesse aggression, right? So we're dodging spells while we're hitting spells. We're throwing autos while they can't throw autos back. And this is just unfortunate. Right? We got we to gotta learn our rangers a little bit more. Maybe go into a custom game and get a pat down. Muscle memory, that range. Because this is ultimately what led us to dying here, right? Like, yeah, I know Ash fucked everything up with her. It just sucks, but whatever, right? Here, yeah, right? Walk into the zap. Walk into the chomps. And we took the free turret damage. Right, so it's all compounding, right? Right now you'd be up maybe 157 HP as opposed to 7. And you walk into the zap, right? So it's aggression but with finesse, right? So yeah, definitely winnable. Definitely winnable. I think I think you I think you can climb, no doubt. Uh, this is fine this is fine good 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 damage good poke watch out for the zero engage this is what i mean by yasuo's man they're just so stupid man like why isn't he helping right he should be here helping what is he doing they're all the same they all play so stupid like imagine if this was a syndra imagine if this was an annie a morg mid and literally any other mid boom bada bing bada boom we're, we're cooking bro he didn't even use one spell this entire time and when he finally does he goes in 1v4 bro this is what i mean by these players just, just don't even bother with them don't even fucking bother it's a waste of time literal waste of time like, I've, throughout all my years of playing this game, every time I see this type of player on my team, it's just fucking, they're so bad. And we're supposed to win with this guy on our team, right? It's just, ugh. Yeah. Sure. 100%. Look how he's playing. You can almost guarantee in the next 10 to 15 seconds, this guy's gonna die. You can almost guarantee it. Wow, he had flash. Good. Lucky him. Good aggression here. There's no, there's no, there's no kill there, right? I don't want to get the kill here. Right? This is free. So free. Go for it. Ping it. Ping it. Go for it. You're not pinging. You're not. You need to take a little bit more control slash lead of your team. When you see plays, you need to go for it and ping them, right? He, this guy's blind. I, I'm just assume everyone's blind and they need help. With, with pings and all that, right? Ping, ping, on my way, ping, on my way, ping, on my way. Then he comes and we win, right? As opposed to, we're not pinging, we're not going. And by the time he realizes that you need help, he doesn't even realize you need help, right? This is why you help by pinging them, right? 
I personally think that uh, you should have died here, but good job, good good play. This is why uh, your Jana has Jana has potential. Should have probably waited for more HP, but honestly, it's fine. You heal it back. Now waiting in this bush is a really nice play, but we have to pay be very patient and wait for him to walk up. I like what you're doing here. You're in a great position. Maybe charge up the Howling Gale beforehand. It does make an audio cue, but these guys are really donkey, right? Audio audio cue the Howling Gale and just follow up with Zephyr and they probably won't be able to dodge it. Good. Nothing, not, nothing to say much here. I think your play is fine here. This is good. Assisting a jungler when needed. This is just a waste of a spell. And he's just well, he's just sitting watching it, right? It's, ugh, bad play overall. Yas died again. No, that's no surprise. Probably play for this turret here. Just hit it hard. Hit it, hit it. Good, good, good. I'll probably back and go topside ish. I would, I would not go to assist this guy. I would just probably go middle or try to play for the great the grubs here. Printing bottom is a mistake here. You should be around here right now. And then we should be pinging we should be warding the grubs, pinging the rift. I mean the rift. Warding the rift, pinging the rift, and then playing for the rift as opposed to running bot side, doing nothing, running middle. Um Playing for the kill versus playing for the objective, right? And then in the meantime, one of us dies top side. Oh, that's uh, the enemy. Sorry. But yeah, they got the rift now. We should have gotten this rift, I think, in my opinion. There was two of them dead bottom. Yasuo was here, and all four of us could have been in this area, right? So there's an opportunity missed, and it just... So, like, think about your actions. Think about your play. You ran bottom, you ran mid, and then you died. As opposed to you could have uh ran here, got the assist on Swain, warded the area for the rift, taken the rift, and then used the rift to break middle. Right? So now we're proactively playing versus reactively running around the map, right? I think this is something you need to address in your play. And if you don't address it, it's gonna be very hard to climb because you're just um hoping that your allies uh kind of carry you. When we die in low ELO, our teammates often just go in. So expect these throws to happen and expect it's like it's like a little punishment, you know, so you get punished for dying, right? And this is the punishment you get for dying, right? These idiot players will just play like fucking stupids. You need to uh, ping them back and if you're not pinging them back, you're not helping them, right? They need help at any avenue, any chance they can get. You need to help these guys. They you need to think of it like that, right? Getting caught out here is like, what are we playing for? We're playing to deal damage to Swain. Are we clearing wards? Are we... Like, what is the play here? Like, what is the objective of the play that we're doing right now, right? We're just kind of hovering while Diana's at base. We, we're we just putting auto attacks on Swain. We're gonna kill him as... You know, it's like... 
put a little bit more plan or play effort into making a play when you this is game sense right it's hard to explain this in the heat of the moment while you're playing it playing right but there needs to be more method to the madness it can't be it can't just be a reaction to what i see it's a little bit of a future site right predicting the future predicting the play and then being there before the enemy gets there being there at the exact right time to make the play happen right it's not just running around the map and and okay they're bot lane i'm gonna go bot lane oh they're mid lane i'm gonna go mid lane oh dragon's up i'm gonna go drake it's more of a okay they're bot lane they're mid lane I'm going to back now because I know that they're both good. I'm going to prepare the ward so we can take this Drake, right? It needs to be a little bit of different uh, thought process going to the game, right? And then when we start thinking like that, we start seeing things like, okay, Diana's at base, Warwick's at top. I can't stand here as Janna by myself because it's not safe. And then this guy's just going to do that 99% of the time. So just consider him just a, a bot. But yeah, this was... Interesting game, interesting game to say the least. If you want to climb a support, you need to be doing a lot more uh, proactive things. And hopefully this helps, man. Good luck on the rift.